So you think you may need to replace your air conditioning contactor. Your compressor won't start. So stay tuned and we'll talk more about that in just a minute. Hi, my name is Don Harris and I want to thank you for taking the time to visit our website today. When troubleshooting the compressor, the first thing to, to do is to ensure the compressor unit isn't excessively hot. If in doubt, allow it to cool. Pull the disconnect near the compressor to ensure you control the compressor at the closest point possible before you start to inspect the compressor unit. Then go inside, check the thermostat, and set the air conditioner to run. Also check the breaker panel to ensure that the breaker hasn't tripped. So we're going to supply power to our unit now so we can do some checks on it right there. So we're going to plug it in. We're going to go to our unit and we're going to verify that we have 240 volts coming in to the unit right here. All right, we got 243.1. All right, we're going to go inside and we're going to cut the thermostat back on to uh, start our unit. All right, so the thermostat uh, has called for cooling. We're going to go in here and we're going to check power coming out of our contactor. So we're going to put our leads on our contactor here and you see and we're getting no voltage on that side. With the contactor energized, we should be getting voltage. To confirm that we have 24 volts co coming to the contactor, we're going to check our terminals on the side here and we see that we have 26.1 volts on the contactor so that we know we know we have control voltage coming to the contactor which should be pulling in the uh, uh, the, the points on the contactor to get the unit running uh, but it is not pulling it in so this verifies that we've got something going on with the contactor uh, either the points are burnt uh, our coil is bad or the armature in there is stuck and won't let the contactor energize. So this uh, contactor needs to be replaced. All right. So now that we've determined we don't have voltage uh, going through the contactor uh, output to the compressor and the fan motor, we're going to do some more checks on the contactor. We're going to pull the disconnect to make sure we don't have any power. We're going to take our uh, meter leads make sure we set it volts here we're going to make sure that we don't have any voltage coming to the unit just as a precaution and you can see that we have no voltage there okay so we're going to check a little more check uh, some further checks here we're going to set our meter on ohm ratings we're going to check continuity across these contacts on the contactor so we're going to disconnect our terminal power coming into it here So we've got our power disconnected coming in there. We're going to disconnect the power on the other side. Coming out of the contactor, going to the compressor. We're going to remove our leads there. And we're going to take our meter and we're going to check continuity on these contacts on this contactor. So we're going to verify that our meter is reading. We got a reading across our meter right there so we're going to take our two leads and touch each side of the contact you see we go back to an OL which means we've got an open circuit uh, right there we've got no continuity uh, from one side of this contactor to the other which just confirms uh, that our contactor uh, is bad so we're going to continue to replace this contactor right here we're going to pull the control voltage off the contactor here. <clears throat> Remember it's important that you take a picture of how the contactor was wired in there so you get it wired properly when you're reconnecting it. The only thing we have left to disconnect on this contactor right here is the wires on this side right here. So we've got the power out. 
<coughs> now you can see on this contactor right here, it may be difficult to see, but these contacts in here are burnt and pitted. This will cause a voltage drop across that contactor, and it may not even uh, make continuity at all, which in our case here it was not, uh, because our points were pitted, and when the contacts pulls together, it did not complete a circuit across those contacts right there. Your power comes in here, goes to this contact, through this little uh, mechanism here, contacting the other point over there, and then going out to the compressor here. So let's put our new contactor back in. So here's our new contactor. You see it's a little bit different uh, uh, shape. The contacts themselves are covered here, uh, but still it's pretty much generally the same thing. So we're going to take and put it back in. Make sure your contacts are good, or your terminals are good and snug in there. We have 24 volts on our control circuit right there, so that pulled the contactor in right now. Uh, we still got power disconnected over there. Once we connect the power, you should see the unit power up. So let's do that. There we go. We replaced the contactor and the unit is up and running. I hope this video has helped you a little bit about troubleshooting your AC unit. If it has, please leave a comment below or share it on Facebook or Twitter. To receive other DIY videos, just subscribe to our channel below. As always, if you need uh, to schedule one of our professional technicians to come out, just visit our website at www dependableservices.com and schedule your own service call 24-7 or just give us a call at the number below. Good luck and I hope to be seeing you again soon.